Hello everyone, welcome to Souls Land Episode 4. I am joined today by good friend of mine, Rancer. One of the best Grenadier players everyone. I know. Yeah. Hello everyone. When was the last time you played this? Uh, before Thanksgiving. I've been very busy doing other things. That's fair enough. Uh, where? <sighs> And this is some great innovative Pirates of the Caribbean slash Assassin's Creed Black Flag I gameplay. I love this shit, know. man. But watch. <laughs> Why did the guy just loop back? Hold on. Watch this. <laughs> watch. <laughs> watch this. Alright. Wait. I think this guy is just <laughs> bugged, deadass. He's just. He's just like, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I'm bugged. Here, kill me. You haven't seen the best oh part. Of, you haven't seen the best part of this game. I love. I, I mean, which is not the graphical fidelity, shockingly. Yeah, it's not the best graphically speaking. But remember, all Souls Land and all of its amazing glory could be yours for only ten dollars because I got it on sale for ninety percent off. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, hold on. Nine percent off? This is a ten dollar game. Yes. Is that? Wait, is this like an eighty dollar game? It's a ten yeah, it's ten dollars. Probably like eight if you're in uh America land. Oh oh wait. When you said like it was ten and it was ninety percent off, like wait, so with the nine percent off deal it's like ten dollars. So what is this original price then? Uh its original price is ten dollars, right? But like it's um Oh, oh if it's ninety percent off then it's like that's the one dollar game for a reason. Jeez. Like when you said ten dollars and it was on nine percent off, I'm like, wait, this was charged for like a hundred dollars? What the heck? Watch this. Hold on. I can sneak up behind the AI and they'll just kill them. <laughs> yeah, stealth attack, but that looked so Look at these, look like at these graphics. Stabbed, he stabbed himself <laughs> Look at these graphics. Man, Aren't these innovative the best graphics, graphics in the man. This world? Is, man, we are in the year 2022. Our Lord and Savior Gaming Jesus gave us the greatest graphics ever. Uh, our Lord and Savior is actually Todd Howard. And, he's bless and he blesses mm -hmm. us with a version of Skyrim <laughs> every year or so. <laughs> oh, man. It's like a machine gun just is spinning out of your Skyrim ripoffs. Go. <laughs> <laughs> just remake Oblivion, Todd, please. Oblivion or Morrowind? I beg. I beg. But it gets better. So like, so this is clearly it's this, this. So this takes off for like you know the Souls games, right? You can see it. But it gets better. Watch this. You see how I'm drinking? How I've been drinking these potions like wildfire. Yeah. If I rest and get back up, I, it's everything's fully restored. Okay. So there's like it's kind of just. So so they, okay. So this is this is kind of like. Rip off hyper of like Skyrim and Dark Soul, basically. I guess. Or did, it was, well, actually, it's more like a rip off of like uh, Wait, Dark Soul, just because there? of the whole bonfire thing, the potions, and everything. There's actually, an yeah, invisible. Wall. This is it is oh, a rip off. I oh, I thought for a minute there was an invisible wall there. No, it's actually just a game's collision being bad. <laughs> you know, the funny part is, what if that's the stairs being realistic? <laughs> it's I don't like you know. can't, you cannot walk up the stairs without doing it properly. Uh, is it? It is A, I think. That's yeah. It's oh A to God, get the shield. Oh my God! It's Shovel up. Knight. Let's go. Wait a minute. Why is Shovel Knight really small? <laughs> nice. I love. I love the graphical. Like. Oh, I might die. High key. Oh no! I'm good. I'm good. I imagine losing to Shovel Knight. Kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. It's like Sora. <laughs> Cringe Night Night, baby! That made it onto the main channel! <laughs> that made it onto the main <laughs> channel! Anyway, you're welcome for having me on this YouTube video. Sora is officially, um, <laughs> lovingly referred to as the Cringe Nay Nay Baby now on the official <laughs> JP YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, here's the plus side. Your YouTube video comments will be like, man, it. Man, why are you making fun of Sora? He's ne he's never done anything wrong. The wizard will be like the fanboys defending him. It'll be the Kingdom Hearts people being louder than usual. 
Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's not not wrong. I bet part to me that the case to me is kind of ass. Um, <laughs> a rant aside, however. Um, I mean, while we're on the topic of slandering it... fan bases, you know what fan base actually is the most annoying? Which one? The Fortnite fan base. <laughs> Like Honestly, the Fortnite fan base. I, 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 I haven't been in part of The Fortnite fan base. Here's the thing. It's like, like, four years they're, and like, like... they're like the vegans of gaming. <laughs> that you cannot. If Every time you come to a Fortnite player, I guarantee you they will say they're a Fortnite player within the first five minutes of a conversation. They'll work it in somehow. Uh, honestly, 9% like a chance that is the case. Also, if they're like concerned vegans, does that mean they've never played another game besides Fortnite or another FPS game similar to it? True! <laughs> We're we're going we're out here, JPP to the power of three, slandering, slander, <laughs> slanderous. I mean, I'll be honest with you. You can slander like some of the families of things I love all you want. Cause I've been part of those communities and like, case community is terrible. Uh, community is so toxically bad. Like the witch you know, community. Fan, nothing but fanboys or the KH uh, fanboys. Oh yeah, so the Kingdom Hearts. It's filled with the, like it's filled with nothing with either. Diehard fanboys that do nothing but defend things and not criticize the series, or haters that do nothing but shit talk the series without ever giving the games a chance or never say anything good about it. There's yeah, no one between with that fanboys. Which, keep in mind, that could be something with every fan base, right? Yeah. Every fan base has people like that. KH is one of the worst offenders in that category. There's almost no, there's literally no in between in that series. No, there literally mind, isn't. I'm a big fan. I mean, Killer Vacation. I'm a big fan of the series. And I've been a part of the community for many years. Wait, and I'm still a part of it, but I don't like give it attention because it's it's just bad. I've accepted it; it's just awful. Red <laughs> look at this. Bro, Can we talk about the, the fact that I'm swinging wildly and the thing just went into T pose position for a, a good a good minute? And the guy's like, <gasps> <gasps> he's about to swing at me. <gasps> he's literally establishing dominance over me as he dies. <laughs> he, he, he just teleport. But yeah. They don't even Remember, teleport. They didn't just... even program a death animation in this game. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst yeah, part. Yeah, <laughs> the cage memory is just like it's it's one of the worst ever in that category. But again, that's like summed up in every fan base, right? Every fan base essentially has those people. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, like the Smash yeah, community has it in I, spades. Oh yeah, Smash and that. I know Sonic fan base is like actually bad. The Sonic it's fan base is random. just on copium. Because now they're currently, because like uh, at the time of recording, like Frontiers comes out like next week, and the Frontier and every and everyone's like, oh, it's gonna be a great, it's gonna be like a, an amazing Sonic game, but I'm still so worried about it. And I'm like, no, it's the Sonic team. I'm I'm incredibly worried that the Sonic that, that game is gonna be like it's gonna repeat the cycle when half the fan base says yeah, yeah it's so bad like straight from the start, and yeah. then the other half goes. No, on actually, podium. you know, you don't like how you say you're worried because you know about the team which developed the game, right? Yeah. So this actually this is kind of related to like the upcoming Final Fantasy. Is it Final Fantasy sixteen? Like the new one, the new sequel. I think it. Is, out. Which for which yeah. is it like mainline uh, or like a remake? I, it's, it's a mainline game. Uh, it's Final Fantasy sixteen, I believe. Yeah. It's a, where the gameplay is looks like it's heavily inspired by Devil May Cry. So I mentioned it, and this was actually confirmed. Um, the dev team. That's doing the gameplay of that game is the KH1 and KH2 dev team, and I trust them a lot because they know how to make an RPG. Um, no, the, yeah, that's for sure the case. Like, yeah, what? Like, yeah, like that's one. Uh, because because this was a fun fact about KH. After Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, uh, they gave that team moved on to do other projects at Square Enix, so they gave the rights to the series to the Osaka team, which. At the time, they were terrible at balancing and did not know how to do an action RPG game, so the games afterwards were so unbalanced as fucking unfun. It did get better over time, though, as experience, you know, because when a new team enters the series, like, they do get better over time. They have definitely gotten significantly better. No, that's for besides sure. the point. Yeah, but that's besides the point. I mean, so when I met when I mentioned that uh, the team that's doing Five Hundred Sixteen gameplay is the Cage One and Two Dev team. And then you have the Devil May Cry 5 combat director being a part of that team working on the gameplay as well. So it's like, bro, this is actually fantastic. That's a great team to have to work on the gameplay. And then when I mentioned it, Corey's like, oh yeah, I have been in this because it's going to be floaty. I'm like, bro, KH2 is not floaty. It's barely ever floaty you actually play yeah. it. But again, that, and that's just the, what's the funny part because Corey's all reacting to it. So I'm like, I don't know why you're reacting to this. That's a good thing when you have a dev team that knows how to make RPG action-type games, 
combat type especially, and you have the com Devil May Cry 5 combat director to, to do it with them, you know? Like, yeah, I get, yeah. I, I mean, keep in mind, I, don't know. I, I get his <laughs> concerns, like how you mentioned, like, you at least understand, you kind of do have concerns because of the team who did, who's doing Sonic Frontiers. I completely understand, because everyone has different opinions, mm -hmm. everyone has their own concerns for different reasons, rather it's either valid, or maybe it's just something like overacting or something stupid, you know? Is that, it's just, it's all opinions, yeah. right? Yeah. Yo, I actually have way more faith than like more the... high faith existing just because I know who's doing the gameplay and who is the combat director. I have way more faith in the game now. True. I'm more hype for it. Because otherwise, if I would not have known that, I, I would not have I, that much interest in the, the game, level. if I'm going to be honest. No, no, no. Under it's understandable. Speaking of games, I finished the level. I've saved the captured souls. I'm very proud of myself. Like, there's nothing that goes out that happens there. It's just kind of it out, it out like exists. Hey, could you have a life that's realistic? I ended if you just went straight there to the end. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we're 12 minutes in. We have time for one more high key. You're on fire, Prince. All this explaining, like discussions and everything, and we still and you still have not explained the one dog game to me. <laughs> Okay, the one dollar game. I I saw it like I think it was end of September, and I saw it on like the e shop as I was browsing through randomly, mm -hmm. and I put out and I I bought it. I was like, you know what? It's a dollar. Who cares? I put out a Twitter poll, mm -hmm. and I asked, you know, like, do would you like to see this? And the people said yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was a unanimous okay. yes, <laughs> and I know for and. I I played it and I thought like the first level like if if I actually hated the game like that first episode with uh, Torbex if I didn't like it I was not gonna continue, but I secretly do like this game in like a low key kind of manner because I think the gameplay loop is good like the gameplay is, has a good core I just think it needs more polishing you know what I mean yeah but yeah like that's literally how the one dollar game happened because like I just happened to see it. I think I'm like the only person who ever who, who has done anything with oh. this game at all. Oh, now I get the one dollar game because you mentioned this was a ten dollar game, nine percent off, and it became a one dollar game. Why? I also <laughs> randomly saw a game for free on the e shop, so guess what's coming after this one's done? The one dollar game. The free oh, game. Yeah. Okay, now I get what the point of the one dollar game is. Oh my god, mind blown. <laughs> Yeah, and that uh, that thumbnail, I, I, I always refer to it as the one. Yeah, Toy Rex, if you're editing this, please game. put in the mind blown. Please put add in the mind blown meme with the rainbow. <laughs> oh, he does not touch the let's plays. Oh, he does. Oh no, <laughs> he's like, I have no idea what to do for them, and I'm like, understandable. Okay, that's, okay. Okay, that's <laughs> understandable. <laughs> I'm being like, Toy Rex, please add in this meme, please. And he'll look at us and like, okay, I'm gonna this right now. All right, I'm gonna head out, <laughs> basically. No, after that first Pokemon Legends Arceus episode, it was like, I have no idea how to do this, you do them. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I've been editing them ever since. Jesus. Wait, you ended the series with the Legends Arceus? No, I'm not. No, I, I do edit it, but I haven't ended it. There's still a few more episodes I have pre-recorded from, like, August. <laughs> all the way, oh my god, all the way from August, Jesus. Yeah, because I, I didn't know how busy I was going to be with, like, uh, university, right? with life and that's so, not like you're not always gonna have fun i remember like uh king of skill he has like leftover lots of lots of like mario party stars with his friend kc nick Ernest, and uh sophist and a lot of them are mm -hmm. still not edited to youtube videos because he's been busy in, like uploading other types of content like smash bros content and to be fair i understand why it would take a long time to edit an entire like two to three hour stream of mario party Superstar and like, literally just edited it to like a 10, no, it 10 to 20 minute so video. <laughs> I guess in like the most recent one, like a 30 like, minute video. Especially you have to edit everything, all the moves and everything. Let's by the way, everyone. Giga Skills The Fight is probably one of my favorite, funniest Smash YouTubers out there that also for content here and there. So, no, I agree. I actually, I secretly like King of Skill. Honestly, him and his team are like. I like to watch the most recent one where like TC Nick was doing that own stream. It was like a few months ago actually, officially. Because the video was just uploaded recently. Mm -hmm. TC Nick's role 
added it to make the video funny and interesting was he was not allowed to be toxic a single time. He wanted to be nice the entire time, and if he became toxic a single I time, saw it's like it. he had to skip a star. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that when I said I know, I'm like King like, mm. Mod and King of Skills version of it, I was like, man, this is one of the funniest superstars content I've ever seen ever. It is. I, no, it is. It's it's, it's like wow. It's, it's like seen Nick be nice ones. I'm like, man, there's a sus among us. <laughs> I know. I'm like, bro. No, this isn't possible. Yeah. You cannot have a you cannot have a superstar stream with TC Nick without it being toxic. It's not possible. <laughs> no, it's not. But you know what is possible? Sneaking up in front of someone, going behind them, and then yeah, kill because them. the AI is so well programmed. Oh, yeah. Am I right? <laughs> oh yeah. I swear, there's supposed to be something like it's supposed to be like noise detection, like. I should not be able to just go at full speed up to this person. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If this was if this was given to like them. an actual dev team to know how to do it, like they'd be able to see you right there, like right off the gate. They'd be able to see you. You know the worst part? The worst part? This is like a port. This is also unavailable on Steam. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, and, I, and apparently, I and I looked at the Steam honest, version. It looks like an actual game. Yeah. I can't. Lie. I'm gonna be honest with you. If this is just a point, like there pretty much is gonna be little to no changes besides like graphical differences. Mm hmm. Basically, I think that's what they did. This map is huge, though. Why is this? This map has gone really big over time. Like the maps, like in the for earlier things, were really small and very linear. But I think as time has gone on, the devs got more confident. Yeah, like expanding the world, and it's like it seems like this was an early. This seems like an early beta of like an open world game where like everything you see is where you can go. But because of the graphical mm -hmm. thing and limitations they had to go to, because like again, this looks like an alpha or a beta. Like they probably like it doesn't really. It doesn't really it's seem no like it is... at first glance until you like you actually go there. No. I agree, but I also think it has a good core. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think the core of the game is actually yeah. decent. Although I won't lie to you, actually, here, I'm pretty sure that, like, there might have been time periods in human history, like, you have, like, Vikings or Warriors going out into desert like this. But the issue here is, like, it just looks off, though. You have the sword. Have you seen the... Oh, you need to watch, um... I think it's the, th the second episode of this, where we, uh... Or, or I'm with, uh, Newt Newt. And Torvex, and we did the sci-fi level, and it looks so out of place there. <laughs> Legitimately, I've that never seen this game right? out of place. Yeah, it's also this. Oh my game. god, yeah, that is so out of place. Thing about it. you know what? This actually makes it look normal in comparison. <laughs> oh, it's I don't. Yeah, I. <sighs> actually, you know what? We're in. I always end up. Ha I always have to hundred percent this because I like I'm. A weird. I'm a hundred percent right. That's like hundred percenting things. You know, you know what like this actually section reminds me of? It reminds me of like the big desert level in like Elden Ring. That's like red sky and then a red desert like land, except it doesn't have cactuses. So this just reminds me of that. Right. Oh, I. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and oh, quick, how do you pronounce the boss's name? We were having a debate on this last episode. Uh, this boss you're fighting. Uh. Yeah. Lord Zaiden. Yeah, that's what. That's what. That was like yes. really the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, this has to be Lord Zaiden. There's no way it's Lord Zaiden. Yeah, because yeah, it just doesn't. It just doesn't yeah, Zayden, sound right. So, I think this... Zaiden makes more sense. Yeah, like it's Zay. It's not gonna be Zaiden. No, it's gonna be. Zayden. If it was really Zaiden, the I would be replaced with a Y, because then it would make more sense if you pronounce it Zaiden. With an eye, it's like... No, I legitimately... Yeah, because with the eye, it's like... Zaiden just makes more sense. Mm -hmm. There's also... The thing I don't get... Is there's, I think there's also lore in this game. Some of the stages oh, they, are very... Bro, like, you literally just go from level to level, and there's almost no story going. Like, I almost never noticed. <laughs> no, I know. It's... it's You wouldn't notice it, but I think this game has hidden lore. Like, we need MatPat in here to do a video on Souls Land real quick. Like, I don't know, my my spidey sense is tingling. Yeah, your spidey sense is tingling, but you're playing a terrible one dollar game. <laughs> I was like, my spidey sense is tingling that I'm playing some kind of a dog turd game here. Hmm, I wonder why. It's shovelware, is what it is, <laughs> but at the same time, I think, like, at the same time, it's shovelware I secretly enjoy. That's right, though. 
way. Go! Why do I have to chase this man? There. Like, this is the thing I don't understand. Cause we- oh, we just got through that in like 11 minutes. Jeez. Interesting. So now we've managed to do the far- So all we have left at this point is farm town, cave, waterline, skyline, Jesus. and temple. That's it. That's all I have left I'm to do. I'm On this game. You just did Sorry, what? I um, can't hear you. Since this game feels like it's an alpha, like, story game. Uh, can you put the lava in, like, any order you want? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, you can. So, but, but what I'm gonna do in the meantime, hold on, I'm gonna end the video here. Sorry. And I'm gonna end it with a little interest, with a little announcement. If you go into the description of this video, guys, you're gonna find a link to a Discord server. My, the special JPP to the power of three Discord Ooh, server. Ooh, let's go. And you should join it. And there'll be a special channel for Soul. Right, don't you worry. Yeah, so don't you worry, YouTube that. viewers. I will totally not, but I also will join the Discord server. Let's go. We got we to support the homies here. Exactly. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, do make sure to like and subscribe to the Let's Play channel. And I will see you on the Hi, next everyone. episode. Goodbye.